Hello everybody! <laughs> Welcome to this, I guess, speed paint video. I decided to make a separate video for this illustration. Um, I'm not sure if the vlog is going to be up before this video or if this video is going to be up after the vlog, but I just wanted to preface this video by saying that I have attempted this illustration a total of, I believe, three times. <laughs> uh, if you've been following my vlogs, I worked on the original sketch of this piece in December of last year now, <laughs> December 2022, and I am recording this voiceover on January the 1st, actually, 2023. So the first sketch, um, I just sat down one day, one night, I guess, and I created this sketch of this really, like, chunky unicorn um interacting with like a maiden so the first if you watch the vlogs the first sketch is this chunky unicorn like and the maiden is just like jo joining bodies with it like not in a sexual way but just um just like a weird disturbing thing and then the unicorn's head actually has a person's face on its like forehead area so Anyway, that was the original sketch and then I put a background in that but when I started painting or coloring in that illustration, I was actually sick. I was at the height of being sick and I think I made horrible decisions in terms of how to approach the coloring of that sketch that I totally failed. So I decided I wanted to revisit it anyway, so I redrew it again and if you've watched the recent vlog or the vlog upcoming, you know that I have failed that second attempt. And now this is the third attempt and I'm like happy with how it turned out but I am not completely enamored, like I'm not 100% happy but I am happy more than I was with the previous two attempts. Anyway, it's a long-winded way of saying that this piece was quite, I grappled with quite a bit, um, but in the end I think it worked out. I filmed a couple clips of it real time because I wanted to kind of talk about my 2023 goals uh, just because, you know, the, the new year is rolling in, a lot of artists on YouTube are kind of talking about what they want 2023 to be for them in terms of their art business, their own personal art goals, like what do they want to, you know, achieve for 2023 if there's always a lot of hope when the new year rolls around and you know it's really interesting to hear what other artists and what other people want to do for 2023 so i thought i would add myself in the mix if you are interested and yeah so let's get started i guess i did write down some notes i did do like a list of 2022 goals last year but most of that list were personal things like personal life goals like in terms of like paying the mortgage and stuff like that eating better all that kind of stuff uh, there weren't really any art goals because for the most part my art goals every year have been fairly consistent i don't really challenge myself that much in terms of like learning a new medium learning mostly i guess learning a new medium because i'm pretty happy with what I like to do. I love to work on comics. Um, I love using, doing videos and stuff like that. So a lot of my goals have been the same for the past couple of years. It's always make more comics, do cons, get better with drawing. So, <laughs> but I guess I'll talk about it more in more detail. I did, like I said, I wrote some notes. So my first 2023 goal is definitely more comics. Looking back 2022, I did do a fair amount of shorter comics. Um, I listed them down here. So I did like four digital comics that were very short, like probably like four to six pages. Uh, one of them was Snowdrift, the other was Songbird, The Fig, uh, one called Vlog. They are on my website if you want to look at those. They're very, very short comics. I did them all digitally. So I did four of those short comics because in 2022, my goal was to make a short comic like that every month. And it was achievable, but I feel like I just got bored. The thing with me in comics is I love to share my comics. And I just feel like sharing comics online is so difficult. Like, like people see it, but it's hard to like give it that reach that I want to get you know the comments and stuff that I like I like when people comment on my work and say that's really weird you're strange I like this idea I you know inspired me to make more comics and just like this 
in 2022 was difficult to get that reach. So in that sense, I got fairly bored with the digital comics just because I wasn't getting that um, feedback that I really wanted from the public, which is really my goal with my, my work, is I always want feedback so I know what I'm doing and what I can make better and what people like. It's just fun to get that back and forth. And with all the algorithm stuff and the fact that I am really cutting back on my social media, online comics are kind of hard for me. So anyway, so I made those comics. I did uh, do a longer comic called uh, Too Much On Your Plate. I worked on that quite a bit. I worked on my Shades of Fear comic called Turtleneck that was published last year. I did, um, I worked on a comic for Chickadee, the kid magazine publishing company. That was really cool. That was my, th I think my third time working with them. I worked on a new comic for short box called Foreign Bodies that I haven't posted anywhere yet, but I'm planning to post that for free on my website soon. And I worked on a zine called At The End. And that one was really new. I did also do Cryptid Camp, I believe, which is a shorter zine. And I don't remember if I'm missing anything. So there was a fair amount of short comics, lo longish comics in 2022. So I feel like my goal of making comics in 2022 was a success. So this year, I would like to make more comics. My goal every year is to make at least two long comics in in the year or a couple of short ones. So that is still my goal, but I think I'm going to go for more um, less like digital comics just because I don't know how to, you know, uh, get them out into the world for people to read so I'm gonna focus on my painted comics or just my longer form comics uh, and that goes into like spice cake I don't think I'm gonna be working on spice cake a lot I still would love to but in terms of my motivation to continue it I don't think I'm gonna be touching it all that much unless I'm inspired one time like I get like inspiration to work on spice cake every now and again so if you are following that comic, I'm sorry for the lack of updates, but there will be like sporadic updates from time to time if I really feel like it. So that's kind of up in the air. I did write it down on my list with a question mark at the end. But yeah, more comics, less focus on digital stuff, more focus on like the comics that I have been doing that I am printing out myself. The only issue is I am doing less printing this year I've been trying to do that because it's just a lot of work when I'm doing my cons uh, so I'm just gonna focus on shorter zines to be printed in terms of the long comics I'm gonna try and attempt something different this year where I will have them printed out of pocket I, I haven't tried Kickstarter yet maybe 2023 is the year where I try Kickstarter I have this long comic planned which you've been seeing me work on the vlog called Glass Unicorn and I am planning to get that printed out. I don't know if I'm gonna go through the Kickstarter route yet or what, but yeah, anyway. Um, I, any, just like, long story short, it's gonna be my first thing is more comics. My second thing that I wrote down is to be consistent with my channel here on YouTube. I love working on vlogs and stuff. I find that I do, do get burned out around um, August, September, and October. So it might happen again this year in 2023, but I'm gonna try and mitigate against that this year and kind of not let that happen. So I wanna have a consistent you know, upload schedule with my vlogs and try not to get burnt out in terms of me making them because I do enjoy doing them. I just need to find a way to make my vlog, my vlogs kind of fun for me to do because at some point they do get a little bit boring. So I think creating speed paints like this from time to time kind of breaks up the monotony. So yeah, just uh, consistent with videos and vlogs. And this kind of goes into my third thing that I wrote down on my New Year's resolution or things to try for 2023. I'm going to try and grow my YouTube channel. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be, but like that's the goal. I want to try out YouTube membership. So I do have a couple levels here on YouTube where you can subscribe to be. I think I only have one level where it's a post pal. So that's where I'm going to be posting some stuff. Like I 
um, I'm not posting on Instagram or Twitter as much anymore so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus all my behind the scenes posts and stuff like that on YouTube itself on this YouTube community post and it's gonna be like the the 19 99 cents level called post pal so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna try YouTube memberships and start with that level or tier I've also been thinking about adding another level for later depending on if it works out or if people are interested where I post more videos like um, exclusive member videos I just don't have an idea of what kind of video would be you know worth it enough for people to actually subscribe into a membership for but yeah I'm gonna be experimenting with YouTube memberships and so if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see and what you think is worth it enough to become a member let me know I did create some new emoticons for it too and little badges which is really cute and it's all Kevin themed which is the cat character that I have so yeah, so in, the, in this year I'm going to be experimenting with that and in the comment section down below please let me know what you think you'd like to see, what you'd be interested in. So the next thing I want to, that I wrote down for 2023 is to create more big, more pieces with background just like this one. Uh, even though I, again like I'm not 100% happy with this, I learned a lot with this piece and so I want to create more pieces like this and I think this year I did achieve a little bit of that like I worked on you know the draw or die illustration the mushroom the mushroom illustration the um, the not dragon illustration um, all those had some sort of background and I really really like those pieces that I've made so I just want to create more of that I still love working with my color pencil and textures but I just find that it's that style is easier when I'm drawing um, just like one or two characters with no background just a white background and with watercolor especially with my new brushes that I've I used a lot in this piece it's a lot easier to create detail even though the detail is very loose like my style is quite loose with the detail it's more fun so with watercolor so yeah I just want to create more pieces like this in the theme of you know the mushroom illustration the draw or die illustration oh yeah I also did the um, the, mer the mermaid illustration which is smaller I also like working in this size so I say big like this is a good size a 9 by 12 with a background incorporated in it and also a story and not just the background slapped on so yeah that is one another goal for 2023 the next thing I wrote is to <laughs> wean off social media completely. So in terms of like Instagram, I don't really use it as much anymore. I still have it on my phone and, I, and on my computer. I check from time to time, but and I post from time to time, but not as much as I used to. I've already I've started using it as kind of a way to message friends and like just mutuals on Instagram. But in terms of posting, I don't really post there as much anymore. And that goes into trying to focus with focus on YouTube itself. I'll be posting more on YouTube, like I said, but Instagram and Twitter, not as much. I do post like, you know, my vlog is up now on Twitter and Instagram. I'll still do that, but I haven't been as reliant in terms of posting my art on there, which is kind of freeing. I used to just like constantly open Instagram and check how many people have seen my my new piece or something like that and get really like sad when nobody engages with it or nobody really sees it so the goal for 2023 is to completely wean off of those I have completely weaned off of TikTok I haven't used it in like a month or so and I intend to continue that um, and it may be sad for some other people who enjoy those apps just because it's like that's how you keep in contact with the artists that you like it's just just for my mental health it, it was just too much to be keeping up with all these social media accounts and when Hive came out too I was kind of one of the people to kind of jump on it but I was like I just want to reserve my username but I don't th see myself really using it I, I just kind of am tired of the hustle and the grind <laughs> trying to keep up with all these social media things that in the end kind of disappoint you usually anyway I mean YouTube could disappoint me but I just really love editing and watching other people's videos and making my own videos so that's where I'm gonna be focusing my energies for 2023 okay so the last thing the last two things I wrote is um, kind of weird like patreon memberships physical rewards uh, so this is totally different from talking about YouTube memberships I've 
it's always in the back of my mind I kind of want to go back into creating physical rewards for members or patrons I guess I wrote it down because it's something I'm thinking about going back into I haven't totally yet I know it's I'm gonna suffer if I do go back into it because I just but I don't know I might because I just love the process of it I just love doing it and if I kind of restrict myself a lot then maybe it might be possible so I just need to get into the mindset where joy you shouldn't be offering too many things that you cannot do but offer the things that you can do so that's in my list the other thing on my list the last thing on my list is to get rid of some stuff in my studio I want to get rid of my Cricut because I'm not going to be using that anymore. I doubt it. And I want to get rid of um, just a lot of just clutter, just extra paper that I don't use. Either give it away or uh, find somebody else to take it or something like that. And also my cutter. I think I'm going to get rid of my guillotine cutter because I'm going to be cutting down on printed stuff this year. But yeah, um, I guess we're at the end of the video now. So... I don't know, I hope you enjoyed that kind of ramble about my New Year's resolutions. Um, they were kind of all over the place, but yeah, that is what I want to do for 2023. What are your 2023 resolutions, art resolutions, life resolutions? And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this really quick speed paint. Is it quick? Sort of. But I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the vlog or the next one. The one coming up i'm not sure i hope you had a happy new year and thank you guys so much for watching where it just it's just like just a bunch of kind of surreal things, bizarre, uh, you know, images. So I really wanted to practice that muscle. And I decided to kind of...